My name is Daniel, and this is True North News Quick Facts. This time on Quick Facts, we'll be covering the Safe Third Country Agreement. The Safe Third Country Agreement is a deal between Canada and the United States that stipulates that both countries are generally considered safe, and as a result, refugees or asylum seekers are considered safe upon arriving in either country. This deal was put into place to prevent refugees and asylum seekers from taking advantage of their vulnerable status and shopping around for the country that they prefer. Given the agreement, Canadian border guards are legally allowed to turn away refugees or asylum seekers from crossing the southern border as they are already considered safe. And the same is true for those crossing into the United States over the 49th parallel. The safe third country agreement was put into place in 2002. The Canadian government had wanted to put an agreement like this in place for a number of years since the number of refugees and asylum seekers flowing from the United States to Canada exceeds the reverse relationship, probably to take advantage of Canada's more generous welfare system. Since the flow of migration was beneficial to the American government, they were not keen to do anything about it. But in the wake of the 9-11 terrorist attacks, the Americans were in a more giving mood considering Canada's actions in the immediate aftermath, and agreed to sign on to the deal. The Safe Third Country Agreement has received a lot of media attention in recent months due to the ongoing refugee crisis. Since 2016, Canada has seen a spike in illegal border crossers and asylum seekers. We will take a more in-depth look at this controversy in a future video. But this spike in irregular immigration can be largely chalked up to Trump's hard anti-immigration stance in combination with Trudeau's more welcoming attitude. I believe irregular immigration is just the government's politically correct language to refer to illegal immigration. But to be fair, it is a bit more complicated considering asylum seeker policies included in the Canadian constitution. Illegal border crossers slash asylum seekers are taking advantage of a loophole in the safe third country agreement, wherein if they were to attempt to enter Canada through one of the many legal points of entry, they would be turned back by border guards as they would be already considered safe. To circumvent this agreement, the irregular migrants can simply cross the border between legal points of entries and claim refugee slash asylum seeker status, at which point they can get added to a list and wait to be processed by the Immigration and Refugee Board to determine whether or not their claim is legitimate, all the while enjoying access to Canada's social programs. Due to the spike in irregular immigration, this process is incredibly backlogged. The influx of migrants has caused problems in Quebec and Ontario, most notably in major cities like Toronto and Montreal, who simply do not have adequate funds or infrastructure to deal with the irregularly high number of economically disadvantaged peoples. Federal Conservative MPs have suggested solving this issue by amending the Safe Third Country Agreement to govern the entire border, as opposed to just legal points of entry, so that irregular migrants could be legally turned away. But this raises more issues. It would be difficult to police the entire border, although just high traffic points such as Roxham Road would be a good start. And the American government is resistant on signing on to said amendments, uh, much for the same reasons they were unwilling to sign the agreement in the first place. That's it for this episode of Quick Facts. Let us know what you think of how the Canadian government should enforce our borders in the comments, and as usual, like and share the video. I'm Daniel Tyree for True North News. Stay informed, friends.